Oh boy. We're here. We're here. Good morning. Oh my gosh. How are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you? It's Friday. I know. So, okay. Binge live, Friday the 13th, November 20th, tw November 2020. The scariest sentence probably ever made. Oh wait, I think we just did the intro panel. Oh, well that's you and Meredith. Yes, I know. But there's your special guest, yes. Jill. Very exciting from Bob Hope USA at LAX. This is going to be an awesome day. It's going to be an awesome day. Chad, go ahead and take it down. We have someone behind the scenes working. Yes. Um, so Joel, it's Friday the 13th. I don't know about you, but I feel like it's a lucky day. See, I'm very, I, yes and no. Well, first of all, let's just go ahead and say, Meredith couldn't be here today. So we have okay. Madam President, the Grand Dame herself. Christina My first David. time doing a live show. Well, not being interviewed. Thank you. As a, as a co-host. Exactly. So, okay, November 30, November 13th, but it's November 13th, 2020. This just feels like it has these, that is like literally the scariest date of all time. <laughs> that could just be me. I could see, I could see where you'd think that. I could I see mean, where you'd think that. It's like 14 black cats are going to come across. <laughs> I'm going to walk under every ladder, step on every crack. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting day, but you're feeling lucky? I'm feeling lucky today. I feel good. It's Friday. We had a big event on Tuesday. It's done. I, yeah. um, you know, I'm excited. It went well. So I'm ready for, I'm ready for the holidays. I'm yeah, ready to start really, decorating my house. You're I'm like ready a, for turkey. You're like I'm aggressively ready, ready. I'm so like, ready. I'm so like, ready. I mean, you're ready to like kick those holidays on. Like, Ugh! I just feel like I need the holidays this year more than ever. I need the celebration. I need the feeling of homey family. I need the smell of cinnamon. I need fires roaring. I need, I need it all. I'm, well, I'm going to make it happen here. Come hell or high water, you're going to make this happen. It's going to be a great holiday. <laughs> I'm I'm sure your your family is really happy to see that. They're not as scared at all. At, not all. at all. It's gonna be Christmas is gonna be all over my house. Oh god, I'm kind of scared for your neighbors as well. well um so we're we're kind of changing this up for the next few for, since this is this season of giving. That's what we're all about right now. So we're gonna be focusing on some nonprofits and some local. amazing nonprofits, yes. some super yes. awesome, wonderful nonprofits. And our first one is just like a true piece of Americana. And I'm so excited that this one is happening. And so we've got Jill from Bob Hope USA at LAX. She's waiting in the wings. Yes. So whenever she wants to turn on her camera and microphone and join us, that would be Jill, awesome. come on up. Jill. Jill. I know you hear us. Jill probably got called away. Oh, okay, that's fair. Cause she's actually at the center right now working <laughs> with our troops. Yes. And that's Jill's role is to support um, all the troops. And they're still coming in, even though, you know, we're in COVID, the troops are still, oh, there she is. Oh, the troops are still coming into the Bob Hope USO. Jill, go ahead and take yourself off mute too. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hi, Jill. Can, can you me? see me? We yeah. can see you. Oh, because I can't see myself. <laughs> you probably clicked off the little Zoom <laughs> button at the bottom. The little I... blue camera. No, I'm on it. There we go. It's a, it's okay. As long as okay. you can see me. I, it we can see you. Myself. We can see you. Thank Good you for morning, joining us. everybody. Good Thank morning. you for joining us. Absolutely. I love it. Very excited to talk about this. I mean, Bob Hope USO is such... I mean, I'm just... I. First of all, everybody should know, if you don't know, what Bob Hope USO is. But I picture Bette Midler's movie for the boys. Like, there's this true Americana supporting our troops. Like, it's just, it's an institution. And so I was so excited when Christina said that you were joining us today. So thank you so much for doing this. Absolutely. Anytime I can do. LAX Coastal Chamber is a wonderful chamber. I love them to death and uh, very supportive all around in the neighborhood and a very strong chamber. So I, I suggest to anybody who's on the call that wants to join, join. Thank you. Oh. I didn't pay her to do that, by the way. No, you she did that all on her own. <laughs> no, you did not. <laughs> well, I had the pleasure of getting to know Jill in our Leadership Academy, which Joel is also a graduate of Leadership Academy. And I've been just so impressed with everything they've done. And I've watched the Bob Hope USO LAX really transition. So Jill, do you want to tell us a little bit about what you do over there and, and your new facility? 
Sure. So I want to say, so USO stands for United Services Organization. A lot of people aren't aware of that. So I'd like to say that we're also a private nonprofit organization. So we have nothing to do with the government. It's a misunderstanding that occurs a lot because we've been doing this next year is our 80 year anniversary uh, since 1941. Yeah, we were formed by six private organizations as one President Roosevelt um, congressionally chartered us uh, to support as the military went off to war. And needless to say, uh, it's gone on since then. So we are also not a veteran organization, which a lot of people kind of assume. So I like to tell people, take heed that everyone that we do support are our future veterans, because those are all our active duty service members, our active reservists, and so forth. So the centers, USO is... 200 strong worldwide plus we happen to be one of six pre-covid that were 24-hour facility um obviously lax being what two or three busiest airport in the world we're a very busy organization and not only do we help those who are traveling through because a lot of people assume military only flies private aircraft they actually fly commercial quite a bit so we're a place for them to come eat sleep shower all those things for free while they're waiting. And uh, military is a lot of hurry up and wait. So their layover times are very long. So we're happy that we can be here for them. Um, our current hours, days and hours right now with COVID are nine to five Monday through Friday. And that's based on the, just the traffic of the aircraft and so forth right now. So as things you know, ramp up, we will ramp up more as well. But we're very happy to be open. We reopened on September 28th. Now, how long have you been with the USO? Well, I actually started as a volunteer in 2012, July of 2012. I was uh, self-employed for 18 years, but it was my favorite day of the week when I came in for my shift every week. Uh, the position opened itself up. I thought, why not? I'll throw my hat into the ring. And when I was offered the job, I was pleasantly surprised. <laughs> and I've been doing this now five years plus. So I've actually been with USO for eight years, but been doing it as the center operations and programs manager for LAX for five years plus now. Awesome. So how many troops do you see? Well, how many troops are you seeing now? And in a given normal year, how many troops would you see? Well, currently, so we've been functioning as an organization since COVID began. Most people don't realize that, and, you know, the military never stops. So the center had to shut down, but we as staff, we were greeting uh, troops on the backside loading dock area, as I call it. We would roll out carts of sandwiches and snacks and drinks and uh, move the, them onto the terminals, you know, give them the direction. So we've been doing that all along. We also have been supporting National Guard units. When the Mercy was in port, we supported her, the ship. Uh, we've gone to many installations. Uh, again, National Guard, not only for helping medically uh, with riots, unfortunately, any kind of hurricane, of fires that have gone on in California. So we've been supporting that all along. We've probably had more touches that they call it with the military since COVID <laughs> than almost we have in a year. So. To answer your question, last year we saw about 140,000 just through the center. That's not counting when we go out to the bases as well. And we have a lot that we, we go and see the Coast Guard base here in Long Beach. It's a, one of the largest Coast Guard units now in the country. Um, and there's a lot of uh, reserve units, Army, uh, the uh, Navy at Point Magoo, Wainimi. We've, we've gone up to Vandenberg. So we're, we're everywhere. Joel and I, our eyes got really big and our mouths dropped. That was a really yeah. big number. I didn't expect to hear a number that big. Yes. yes. That was actually very surprising. I know, I know I have to ask, did you ever get to meet Bob Hope? I actually did, but not here because he's been passed away for quite some time. I uh, originally, I worked at the LAX Marriott here at Air, the airport many, many years ago. I will not say how long or how young, but it was a long time ago. And uh, he came through the Marriott and I met him there. And he's a very, very nice man. But his daughter, Linda Hope, is still alive and she is part of the Bob Hope Foundation, which is a huge support to us. They gave us over $2 million to renovate um, you know, our new center here at the theme building at LAX and their ongoing uh, support system, a very strong support system. Wow. 
Yeah, the new facility is gorgeous. I had the privilege of being at the opening um, and you went from being in trailers just outside yes. of the theme building to being in a beautiful facility um, located um, at the very, it's it's right at the bottom of the, the spider looking thing at LAX. That's right. We call it either, either the four-legged spider or she looks like a spaceship. Spaceship. It's actually, if, you, if any of you ever watched the Jetsons cartoon, that the Jetsons. is based on this iconic theme building here at LAX. We sit in front of the new traffic tower. I try and describe that to people. Yes. So with all of COVID that's going in, how are you guys handling people who want to volunteer? Are you still taking volunteers or? Absolutely we are. Uh, we are volunteer base obviously diminished like every other organization that has volunteers um, because they are in that age group where they're a little more susceptible, uh, you know, retirees and so forth. But many stayed on uh, as well. And so we had to retrain. We are uh, as COVID ready as you could possibly be. We've spaced out our seating within the building. We have all our partitions and the constant cleaning by us as well as a cleaning service. We have the little Ghostbusters machine that they use aboard aircraft to help sanitize everything as well. All the food and drinks, everything is pre-packaged and only handled by a volunteer, gloved, and masked to hand out to the guests. They have to eat outside in the patio area, eat and drink food out there. So uh, we've been going strong and doing very well. It's a slow uptick, but again, it's based on the aircraft and all the flights available and, and people wanting to fly again. So the bases are starting to have movement as we call it. How would somebody go about signing up to volunteer? Like, can they just go on the website? So anything and everything you could want to know about us is at bobhopeuso.org. There's a menu uh, that says how to help, and it's a drop-down menu. The, it will also list anything that we have going on around us, uh, opportunities to donate. But that drop-down menu will say volunteering, and you click on that, and you start filling out the application and then you're contacted by our volunteer coordinator, a little bit of a interview process, and then we get you in and train you and you become a volunteer. And if you don't want to volunteer, but you just want to support the Bob Hope USO, yes. I know you have a very special event happening next week. Do you want to share a little bit about uh, that? I would love to. So we have a virtual gala that's going to be going on worldwide um, happening Thursday, November 19th. It will begin at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, and it will go basically until 8 p.m. or 7.30, I'm sorry. So it's a pre-gala at from 6 to 6.30. 6.30 to 7.30 is live entertainment. Drew Carey is our host. Rascal Flatts will be performing. George Lopez is coming on. Uh, there's just It's an endless amount of stars and celebrities coming on along with military heads that'll be coming on. Uh, we have some uh, pre-recorded messages from all the centers all around. So all the centers are hosting these virtual galas. Um, so it's an exciting event. And yes, you can go on again to that website, bobhopeuso.org and everything's on there um, from either the virtual gala to any kind of um, donation. We also have a trot for the troops that we're doing from November 21st to the 28th, where you can uh, donate, uh, purchase for $38, um, a donation and you get a shirt and some other items and you can walk a 3k, 3.2 miles or a 5k, I should say. You don't have to, you can stand in place in your house. <laughs> you or you could just give them money down. and yeah. pretend you like you walked it. <laughs> you can support a, a service member as well. So lots of options, lots of options. So, so as I was saying in the beginning of the show, I'm very excited about the holidays. What happens during the holidays at the Bob Hope USO? Well, we actually have a, a wonderful vendor here at LAX, Delaware North, who uh, owns several of the eating uh, facilities within the airport. They are actually providing a Thanksgiving meal here at the center. They also feed the local Coast Guard base as well, because believe it or not, Coast Guard have to work, but they shut the canteen down. So we bring food to them. Um, and then generally at Christmas time, the same thing occurs. We will set up our Christmas tree and we will hand out this year gifts rather than letting people pre-pick stuff. But we have 
really nice little toys and items for service members if they need something to take home to a family member or they're traveling through. So we try and keep it light and festive. That's wonderful. And that's all also opportunities to give on your website. Absolutely. No, I'm not gonna lie. I'm getting this total warm and fuzzy feeling and this whole <laughs> vintage holiday Americana Norman Rockwell, it's a wonderful life vibe. It's not, I mean, you don't get that feeling very often anymore. I'm ready. It, you know, I just have to add, Joel, that what you're saying is this is what I tell people when I speak. It's called the circle of gratitude. Yeah. Uh, people are eternally grateful for each other here, and you don't find that really many places these days where sad. everyone is just grateful for your each other's existence and uh careful and all about safety so it's a beautiful place to be if you want to be on a natural high you come here and volunteer <laughs> <laughs> well you will you know, get a warm and fuzzy feeling all the time it's so true i mean i have to tell you in in volunteering your time and i'm a part of the rotary club i'm service above self there, there is such a high that you get from giving back. And I really encourage people. And I think that's why I'm so excited about the holidays because there's so many opportunities to give back. And the feeling that you get being part of community, the feeling you get giving of your time, um, I think is just so meaningful. And so Bob Hope um, USO is just one of many nonprofits um, that you can give back to. I know Jill and the people over there are phenomenal, spectacular people and such a worthy organization. And I know our troops really appreciate it. So um, I think this is just wonderful and it's all getting me more in this holiday spirit. Joel, this is what I need. This is feeding my soul. <laughs> but you're like aggressive about it. I'm kind of like, seriously, I'm scared for your family. Like I'm just <laughs> terrified. I mean, it, yeah. But now we're going to pass on. We're going from warm and fuzzy to now we're just going to have some good cheesy fun. So are you ready for the rapid fire round? Sure. Are you ready? Okay. Meredith usually does this and she is phenomenal. Jill. You have yes. three seconds to answer the following questions. Favorite color? Blue. Dog or cat person? Both. <laughs> oh, that, oh well answer. played. Well Favorite played. movie? Uh, when you hear about Sally. Oh, nice Favorite brunch spot? Oh, gosh. Uh, 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 good stuff. <laughs> Tony P is not very upset. Favorite sorry, sorry, Tony. Season. Favorite season, fall. Love it. Oh, wait, I forgot to do this. Okay. <laughs> um, mashed potato or sweet potato? Mashed, 100%. I agree. I agree. Favorite holiday? Christmas. Oh. Favorite dessert? Anything chocolate. Chocolate lover. Sandra Bullock or Julia Roberts? Sandra Bullock. Nice. Okay. And the last one, something special that you wish for this holiday season? For people to feel safe again and know, understand that, you know, living life is really important and just get out there and, and feel okay. Mask, you know, wash your hands, but uh, live life. It's important one day at a time. Thank you. Well, that was wonderful. That was awesome. Thank you. Well, Jill, I think, I mean, is there any, so how can we help you. I mean, I know you can use the volunteers and you can do the donations, but aside from just like the general holiday season where everybody looks forward to doing something, how can people just learn more about, I know we can go to the website, but also just what more can people do like on an annual basis or just year round to really help the USO? Yeah, thank you for asking. Cause any volunteer organization, like you know, the need is there year round. It's not just at the holiday season. Um, for us, donations come in the form, obviously, cash, donations, check, however you want to say that, credit card, are valuable because we can then utilize the money for the need. It doesn't restrict us. However, if people want to give money and they just want to support a troop movement and provide lunch you know, for that day, uh, we have that happen a lot here. If they want to host just stuff for the holidays or whatever, they can do that. Uh, Christina and all the chamber before has done a donation of toiletry items and socks. We have what we call a wish list, a huge wish list. So, I mean, it's, it's never ending. I like to say, think of yourself as going camping and you have no electricity and water. Now, what do you need? You just lost me at camping. I'm not <laughs> really um... Because they really do uh, sacrifice so much. And those are, those are really 
kind of the circumstances they're under when they're deployed, you know, they don't have the luxuries we have. So the most simple things in life, they truly appreciate and need. Well, and I, I'm happy to report that it looks like we've just uh, secured you a new volunteer from this binge live that is filling out uh, the application as we speak. Thank you. Oh, Wendy. I love it. So uh, on, on that website too, there's an FAQ, facts, and it answers a lot of questions about the USO too for people in case they have any questions. But they can call here, they can call me anytime. You know that, Christina and Joel. Yes. I am game on. Anybody that wants to tour the facility, Ooh. you know, you just got to reach out and we'll schedule it. I would I'm love to go off. I definitely yep. want to do that. Oh, please I, do. Um, Absolutely. Absolutely. Do well, Jill, it is so Quite always wonderful, always wonderful to see you. You're such a Thank treasure. You. I appreciate everything that you're doing at the Bob Hope USO. And I look forward to seeing you in person, giving you a big hug and uh, happy holidays to you. Oh, thank you. You too. And everybody stay safe and stay well. And again, get out there and live life. Just do it safely. Well said. Thank, thank you so you, much. Jill. Great meeting you. Thank you. Thank you. See you all soon. You all right. got it. Bye-bye. All, right. all right, Chad, you can take us off. <laughs>